Independent, unsigned artists, entrepreneurs, real people. This your boy, B. Mike Rob. This your girl, Jessie Dance. Stay ready, radio. Every Wednesday night, 8:30 to 9:30 p.m. RMCOnAir.com. Tune in. If you stay ready, you never have to get. Never have to get. Never have to get. Tell me what you're doing later. Maybe I can fall through. First I gotta know what I did. Yes, yes, yes. What's up? It's your boy, Big Mike. This your girl, Desi Des. DJ we, the Queen in the building. We got a new hostess, hostess with the mostest in the building. Yeah. How, How y'all doing? doing? How you doing? How you doing? Queen in the building, hey. I'm back. Going down. That's right. Full <laughs> she said she's back. She's she so tired. I love it. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. This is brought to you by, actually, it's powered by Monster. Let's not get it twisted. Hey. And it's brought to you by Velado Footwear, Go There Magazine, Roscoe's Media Center, and my favorite, Pitbull. Oh, you already know the. That pit bull keeps us on, on point. On That's point. what it is. Yes, it is. With no aftertaste. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it has a little one. It has a little one. But we, <laughs> but we, we clean that up with the three point tequila. There you go. You already know. And order those cupcakes. Brand X, we appreciate all you guys for uh, backing us on this. And you already know. I'm your boy, Big Mike. And we're going to move right into it, right? Are we ready? Yes, ladies, go. are we ready? Okay. I got, see, look, I got pretty ladies in the building. Oh, yes. It's going down. We told y'all. It's going down. Wait, I see a, I see a fella. I see a handsome young man in the mix. Oh, who, thank you, girl. Who, who, who? I just, uh, you know. Uh, uh. Oh, they mean, oh, they mean. Okay, okay. So we're going to move right into our artist we got in the building? Yes, all yes. Who right, so we right. got in the house, y'all? Who we, we got, got in the house? Hey, we got, we got Tyron Brown in the building. We got Tyron Brown, boo. Oh. That's right, that's right. Shout out to Tyron. Tyron, you've been doing a lot of things, man. I've been trying, man. I'm trying to be like you. you my hero, bitch. Oh, man, no, that's, that's you. That's you. That's all. You know that's all you. But um, you know I got to give you a shout out because we, we, we come from the same background that um Vegas. i don't know about y'all but um unlv was definitely in the building yeah. you already know yeah. vegas you know so, so, we so. definitely both went there tyron played basketball right uh, uh not not there but uh well, definitely you play basketball that's, all over that's, the that's place. my background yeah i was definitely. gonna say you're kind of tall how tall are we 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 six five six five <laughs> okay, okay. okay six seven with heels she on the profile that's at montel right, that's at montel that's at montel <laughs> artist over there <laughs> Getting so that full profile. You six five. Okay, let me take notes. Right, let me see, uh, ladies. <laughs> so Tyron, Tyron. So tell me, tell us a little something about what's been going on with you as an artist. I mean, because I've been, I've been seeing you around, mm -hmm. you know, around, around town, and I've been seeing you doing a lot of different shows. Yeah, I'm trying. So just trying. tell me what's been going on with that, man. Tell everybody what's been going on with that because they, they all want to know out here in L.A. Well, I, yeah. I, I'll give y'all the VH1 behind the music story. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, like Big Mike said, you know, I went to UNLV, graduated 2009, started grad school. Grad, um, moved back out here um, late 2011, early 2012, really started pushing. I uh, met my mentor, he goes by the name of Malik Youssef, um, five-time Grammy Award winner uh, for good music. Built, okay. built with him, started working with him. He brought me around the good music camp while they were working on the um, Cruel Summer Project. That was the album that had Mercy and Click on it. So I was pretty much around for all of that. Worked on a project together. That um, part led me into a lot of opportunities. I got to travel with them and whatnot. Then okay. I, got, I got my first um, writer's credit um, for a song on Wiz Khalifa's second album called Fall Asleep. Look at that, oh, look at wow, that, look at that, look at that. You're so making moves. Got the, got the nice quarterly checks coming in. <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, 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 you don't, I'm telling you, don't turn nothing down but your collar, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's, exactly. What it, that's what it is, that's what it is. But we, we, you, got a, you got a single that you brought in today. We're going to listen to most, it a little bit later, right? Most definitely, yeah. So just uh, January 13th, just put out my first debut single for sale on iTunes called Going Up, featuring my man Gene Noble. So uh, okay, that's, okay. that's what we're working on now. And then also, I have an anthem that I made for the Los Angeles Clippers, the only... You know what? You know oh, what? Okay. You know what? I got to bring this yeah. up because... Let's do it. Let's because do it. He, he went out there and he performed. You performed out there, right? At, yeah. the, at, the, at the stadium. Yes, three times. Nice. So three, okay, okay. Let, let, yeah, let, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm collect calling you big balling. Yeah. That's what's up. So you. So how, how was that experience? Oh, it's definitely cool. And it's, it's, it's funny, too. Like, I'm not a bandwagon fan. Like, anybody that knows me... I've been ridiculed for years. I'm originally a Lakers fan. I've been a Clippers fan since 1999, so I, I was there when we had Keith Kloss. Y'all probably don't even remember who that is. You know? That's Keith and them. That's yeah. Keith and them. I, 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 was, I was there for all the bad years when we was excited just to win 30 games. You know, so as a, as a true fan, I'm just happy that we're doing our thing right now. 
and I'm just happy that I had the opportunity. It was, it was always in the back of my mind. While I was at UNLV, I was able to make an anthem for uh, for the basketball team and they played it at the game so it was always nice. in the back of my mind like man when I when I get the right opportunity I want to make a song for the Clippers okay so okay, that's, hey, and you got that's it that's what's up yeah, man yeah. I, I, I see the phones I see the phones oh, lighting, lighting up already up. Can, can, we, can we take a can we take a caller real let's quick take a call. let's take a call caller you're on hello hello hi Ooh. Margarita. 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 What is your? You have a question, or you, who are you calling in yes, for? Yes, I was calling to shout out my girl Desi Des. Hey, hey. Desi Des. That's what's up. That's hey, what's up. Hey Maggie. Oh, I see this Margarita from Rolling Salon. This, this yes. the girl that hooked my hair I'm up, her y'all. Yes, I'm one of my one of my hairstylists. One of my hairstylists. Everybody in the salon listening. That's what's up. There you go. Entrepreneurs doing what they got to do best. <laughs> <laughs> no, we appreciate appreciate we're, the love. Appreciate oh, you got you got a lot of love. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to come down. I'm to trying. I'm love. serious. Huh? We're trying to get some of that love. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, ladies. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> we got Tyron in the house, y'all. You gotta get to give some love to Tyron too. But yeah, I just wanted to call in and shout you guys out and shout you guys out. Stay ready. Most you definitely. Know, and you guys are doing a great job. Get in the bed with your velados on. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready, That's right? Exactly. Go free. Exactly. That's what we do. That's what's up. That's what's up. We appreciate you calling in. Thank you for calling in, Bo. We have any more callers? Okay, we're going to go ahead and keep moving on to Tyron. Let's go ahead and keep moving on to so, Tyron. So, like, before we got rudely interrupted. No, I'm just kidding. We, <laughs> we were talking about the experience that you had with the, um, with the, the, with Clippers. the Clippers. Right, you know, and, so, so, um... So made made the song, you know. Uh, I, I just started out just sending out, blasting it out to Twitter, um, to a lot of the fans. I was getting a lot of good reception. So then I just reached out to the organization, you know, the people that put put it, put the event together. Okay. And you know they said it was fine. You know, shout out to my guy, um, the Capo. He's he DJs these events, um, and he he said you know. Let's get you to perform at it, and you know the first the first time it was like impromptu. Like I I thought they were just gonna play the song. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. It was kind of like last minute, like go up there performing. So that was fun, and then I've done it two other times since then, and it's just great. Like I said, like I, I'm doing what I love to do, which is performing, and then I'm getting the the team. I'm getting the fans for the team that I love, that I've been rooting for for 15 years now. Hype for the game, so it's, okay. it was, it's a great experience. That's, that's dope. That wow. is, that's, that's dope. That's dope. Now, what I say was that like one of your biggest performances, like audiences, or what has been your biggest ah, the, audience that you've performed in front of? The two, the two that I remember. Um, shout out to my guy Marcel Solomon in Vegas. Hope you're listening. Call in if you are. Um, we threw an event. It was it was my first performance ever as a, as a solo artist. I was in I was in like a group situation in high school or whatever, but um. It was in 2010. It was at the Las Vegas Hilton. I know you know about that. You already yeah. know. It, it, was at, it was at the Las Vegas Hilton. It was it, it was his first party. It was my first performance. There was like 800 people there. It was it was a capital party. Um, that was that was the first thing I remember. And I, I'm just looking. I, I'm on stage looking at the crowd like, wow, it's crazy. And then um, I got the I got the opportunity to, to um, open for Kendrick Lamar. Nice. Uh, that's, uh, that's, at the oh, that's, club. Dope. that's dope. Like, that's right. Right when he was on the brink, like every everybody knew him, but it was right before he got signed. But but the whole city came out like that was a great show that's too. That's love. That's here. love right there. But you know what? You know what? As an artist, mm -hmm. I noticed that you know in in this industry, it's very tough for people to, that that's I guess they talk about you know man, I want to get on and how do I get on and mm -hmm. and and in, in this industry, we know you got to know somebody and know somebody to be <laughs> somebody and network with each other. Yeah. And I see that you got a great network going on, especially when it comes to the, you know, the uh, the NBA as well as any of the pro sports, because a lot of a lot of those players I notice always want to become artists somehow, some way, mm -hmm. right, right, right. so or experience that. Shaq. Right. So, <laughs> well, he's the only one in the NBA that went platinum though. So yeah, that's right. Few oh. well, Snickums, right? <laughs> right. You want right. 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 Kobe tried it. Oh, Allen yeah, tried it. Ooh. Yeah, they, they all tried it. You know. <laughs> Don't play. I love me now, some now it's Tyrant's turn. <laughs> but um, right. but um, yeah. So with that, I mean, you you definitely got a great network going on, and and um, also shout out to your management as well, yeah. because you she's let the oh my gosh, she is she's, she's she's definitely definitely <laughs> persistent, and 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 she she also worked with the labels. I want to put her face on here after the break. We're gonna put her face on this camera. Uh oh. She don't like she likes to be behind the camera, but we got it. We got to show her.
yeah, show definitely. people what's going on because it, it's always good when you have a team around yourself right. and definitely. it's always good for, and I like to acknowledge the people that's behind the scenes that's really that believe in the vision so definitely, definitely. so yeah so we're gonna put her on there as well so I mean but I think the ladies got more questions for you so I can't, all, I can't uh -huh. talk it all out so what's next for you? What, what do you have in the works right now? Well, actually, I'm getting ready to shoot the song that you're going to be hearing in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm actually shooting a video for that downtown this Saturday. Dope. So um, we're going to get that done. Then, you know, next week we got Grammy week coming up. You know, right. I'm nice. telling you. And it's like, it's no like, sleep. it's like already. <laughs> already. I mean, if, and, it, and one thing in this industry is that if you constantly stay busy, mm -hmm. things come up so fast. Yeah, they do. And yeah. I, I noticed that. I'm like, wow, we're already back to Grammys. We're already, you know, the back Super Bowl the and stuff season. like that. We're already back to Venice Beach. Yeah. Our Venice Beach Venice. spring Ooh, classic that we have, be. it's Ooh. already coming back around. Hey. I'm like, oh, wow. And then we got the beach experience. Mm -hmm. And that's always already coming back around. So. And I'm trying to be involved in all of that. I heard I that. I heard that. You and a Brussels. <laughs> that's what that's what, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. So, so with, the, with the single that we're about to listen to we're about to listen to in a minute here tell me how what what, what kind of experience you had in making that would you know what did it take to come in to basically into play because i i know your writing skills yes and and i've i've heard about them and stuff like that but you, you know tell the listeners what they you know what they can expect mm -hmm. uh you could just expect a fun song like definitely i'm a versatile artist um i like to i like to be in a a lot of different places mentally and artistically. This song is just your club song, having fun, enjoying life, and just okay. just celebrating. But de okay. definitely, yeah. No, that's well, right. Well, with that being said, why don't you go ahead and take us into your single, let the listeners know it, and the viewers know what's been going on and out there and what you got coming out and what's out already. Yeah. All right, so yeah, this is my single. It's out right now on iTunes, so y'all can go on my website or go straight to iTunes and check it out. Going up. Featuring my boy G Noble, produced by my boy D Knight. Get ready. When they tell you the club closes, tell them we're still going up. <laughs> That's what it is. Let's go. Stay ready. Let the chips be on. Opposite of commitment, just call me Mr. Prone. Play me in the club, don't be like this my song. Then they come up to me like, Sick. what type of shit you want? Hi, baby girl, you wanna find out? Bring your pretty ass over here, we finna ride out. Gonna have at the party back in my house, and then we gon' get it in after that. I'm out, cause I'm headed for success. Take it to the next level, cause I'm blessed. The swag that had a bad one's ready to undress, and I ain't saying I'm the best, I'm just better than the rest. Yes, so they pass it like collection place. You ain't heard about it, better check the resume. Always in the club, getting it popping when them lights come on and they stop it. Yeah. You can turn the lights on, tell the bar it's the last call. We still going up, yeah, we still going up. Tell your girls that can come through, cause I'm still trying to fuck you. We still going up, yeah, we still going up. That's on that other shoe. I drive the ladies crazy, they can't get enough of this. You know how many of them begging me to run a pen of Trying to convince me that you're different from these other women. But look, look, little mama, stop that. Sitting at my table trying to show me you could pop that. On the same page, baby, throw a couple shots back. You ain't gonna win the award, little mama, you not at. But if you ain't a freak, then I'ma teach you. When I eat you, I'ma have you screaming Jesus like a preacher. But then I gotta leave you, baby. It was nice to meet you. Niggas hating on my ballin' because they sitting by the bleachers. Back, back to me and you, though. Glide in the mud, roll with me to Pluto. About to knock it out the park like I'm a pool hoes. My at the party, that's the only place to go. Yeah. You, could, you could turn the lights on. Tell the bar it's the last call. We still going up. Yeah, we still going up. When the real function begins, we can get it in, we can we can get it in. We can get it in, we can we can get it in. Come on, you know the business, baby, don't pretend. 
trying to go with you and your friends. We can get it in, we can get it in. We can get it in, we can get it in. You can turn the lights on. Tell the bar it's the last call. We still going up. Yeah, we still going up. Tell your girl that you come through. Cause I'm still trying to come We still going up. We back, we back, we back. I'm sorry, I was over here hey. playing with, with my I was grooving. with my monster balls. <laughs> over here, this is shout out to this is powered by Monster. These are actually the giveaways, the basketballs that we have. Those monster, that's for those 24 karat gold. No Halle Berry. You know, no, no, no Halle Berry. You know, Halle Berry. <laughs> Once again, this is powered by Monster yeah. balls. No. <laughs> playing with your you. But let's get back to Tyron. Tyron, great job, man. I mean, it's at the end of the day, you're like to me. You like that new, um, I know you don't like comparison, but. <laughs> Let's get it. That Drake? Is that that Drake? I get, I, I. You'll I've take been, that? Okay. That, that's yeah. big. I, I, I've Drake been compared big. to him a lot. Like, even, like I said, like, I was doing this in high school. I kind of took a break when I went to college. And when Drake, Drake started popping, like, 08, 09, like, a lot of my friends that remember me, they was like, hey, man, this, this reminds me of you. And uh, it's funny, what, like one of my friends, he was playing a Drake song one time. Uh -huh. We were in the car, we were still in Las Vegas, and he was like, hey, T, man, what you doing? <laughs> you know, so I, I, I take that comparison, and he's like the hardest in the game right now. Like, nobody's touching him, so okay, I'll take okay. that all day. There you go. Now, I see you have somebody sitting next to you. Yes, this is this is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife in business. That's what it is in business, yeah. yeah exactly. that's, what it, that's what it feels like sometimes. Now, uh, everybody meet my manager, Melantha Hodge. This is the lady who's... Melantha, Melantha. ...emailing me and texting me. And she stays on them. She stays. Like, man. Cause she's, I'm telling you, she stays on us. Man. And we ain't even artists. <laughs> and that's how that's how it's supposed to go down, though. Yes, exactly. exactly. So talk about how did you how did you meet him? How did you come about and wow. started who, 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 meeting? So this story. Let, now let, let you let okay. you do this because okay. you're a mother. Okay. So, <laughs> so oh, mama. Shout out shout out to Teresa Brown if you're listening. Shout out to Teresa Brown. Yeah, my so, mama Nim. Hey. My mama Nim. First of all, shout out to Pitbull because this got me turned up. I'm telling you, hey, hey, Pitbull. It's a party. I'm about to do some parties on here. Nah, but, so, so uh, as you said, so Melanthe works in the industry. Um, yes, she, she definitely she, does. She uh, works with the she works with the company that uh, manages um, the R&B singer Melanie Fiona. My mom happens to be, I don't know if fan is the word to call it. She, my mom is uh, almost stalker of, Mel <laughs> of Melanie Fiona, and. Um, so she's a big fan. So with uh, with my mom would my mom would go to her, not only her shows in L.A. but in Vegas, Atlanta, wherever Melanie Fiona was, my mom would go to a show. And so Melantha built like a kind of like a relationship with my mom because mm -hmm. she was such a huge fan. So um, 2013, they they had the ASCAP Women's Celebration. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Um, since uh, Melanie Fiona was one of the guest speakers, and Melantha actually reached out personally to my mother. Um, and my mom said, you know, can I bring my son, blah, blah, blah. So that's where I first met Melantha. Then, you know, it, w it was just kind of whatever. Then time came back around. Uh, my mother realized that Melantha was getting ready to start her own consulting mm -hmm, uh, business mm -hmm. uh, for the record industry. And my mom was basically like, you're going to work with her. <laughs> I know that's what <laughs> <right. Your> mama <laughs> know best. Pretty, pretty yeah, much. I'm so, you know, that, that, so that's, that's how it originally started. That's the true story. So, uh. You know, reached out and then uh, we started working, and uh, a couple arguments later, <laughs> you're here. You're here. <laughs> now, now, we're, now we're working on an everyday basis, and uh, she's officially my manager, and uh, it's been going great ever since. Um, speaking okay. of uh, going back to the song, so we just put the song out two weeks ago. It's already um, last week. It was uh, it placed in the top 40 of all college hip hop radio. Wow. Yeah, that's what's up. That's as what's as up. of today, we just got. Uh, the reporting that it's at number 26. So. Good yeah. job, good job. Yay. That's, that's what's up. That's you're what's getting up. the college crowds, and that's what we always Speaking talk of about. those college crowds, mm -hmm. let's take a phone call real oh, quick before we get right call? back to that. Okay. 
Caller, you're on. Hey, what's going on, Big Mike? It's Vinny Ramon out here in Vegas. Oh, Vinny Ramon. We're going to put you back on hold. It's not your segment yet. <laughs> we appreciate you for appreciate calling it. in, though. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Shout out to Vegas. Yeah, shout out to Vegas. You already know. Shout out to Vinny for calling on. He'll be yeah, we, yeah, he'll be back home because I don't want I don't want to miss nothing from from Tyron. I'm telling you, he, everybody out here in the LA area needs to Gotta know out. what's going on. You know. So what part of LA are you from? Man, everywhere. So. <laughs> Man. No, uh, uh, what I what I definitely always shout out the most is my birthplace, Inglewood, California. Inglewood. That's where I was born. Yeah. Um, I got Inglewood in the Inglewood. house. Inglewood. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely got get definitely got some valley in me. You know what I mean? Shout out oh, to like the, the Rancho valley. Cucamonga area. <laughs> definitely got the View Park, Crenshaw district in me. Shout out to my granny, Aww. Papa. That's my that's my second home right there. That's where I always go. And eat all in her kitchen, eating everything. And then, of course, like you said, I'm repping Vegas. I spent six and a half beautiful years I'm on telling my life in Vegas. I'm so telling you, hey, hey, I'm like home. That is, that is my hometown. Shout out to Vegas. You guys already know. It's hard to let go. Read, 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 like, word. It's hard. It's, it's hard to let. It's hard to let go. Of just that Vegas life, period. Man. I won't hold it against you. I'm Arizona State all day, but I mean, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know you guys, cool. Yeah. You know, y'all right, y'all right. <laughs> So, Melantha, what was the biggest thing in taking on Tyron as an artist? Like, what was it <laughs> like? Like, what, what was your thought process? Did you say, okay, this guy got some talent, or was it like he needs some development? Yeah. What was your thoughts going in? Well, initially, you know, when he first reached out to me, you know, Stone I checked him out thug. and all that. Um, <laughs> he was a thug. You I'm, thought I'm you were the thug? Nah. Nah, nah. nah, nah I would, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very picky about, you know, mm -hmm. who I work with just Absolutely. from working in this industry, you know, because it's also my reputation on the line. Right. Actually, actually, before you get to that, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm cutting you off because you yeah. already know I know a little bit something about you. <laughs> so let them know. I mean, you've worked through the Chris Brown know, circuits sweaty. and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, let them know. know. Yeah, so my background is um, I worked with the whole Chris Brown team from when he first blew up. Um, mm -hmm. I worked at Universal Motown Records and marketing for four years. I moved out here three and a half years ago. I've been working with a company called Title Nine Productions. Mm -hmm. So we manage Melanie Fiona. We also manage uh, Latoya Luckett. I'm her day to day. Oh. And then I started up my own company, One of a Kind um, Entertainment, back in April. So he's my first official artist under my own company. There it is. There it is. Congratulations. Congratulations. We love, I mean, because I honestly, honestly, I love. We we've been, we always talk about this. Me and the ladies always talk about this. That. You know, um, I love to see strong women in this industry because you know this is, is predominantly male, order. male predominantly Dominated. industry. You know what I mean? So it's it's always good to see the women that's coming up in this industry and show showcase them. That's that's always good about this. So I always want to give them their props about that. So no, I really appreciate that. You see, I got too strong. I got too strong. I got two strong women next to me. You know what I mean? They've been in radio forever. Yeah, we can definitely relate. Yeah, man. My inspiration, my shero, is sitting right across from me right now. You know. There you go. So what was it? He he wasn't a thug. What was it? No, like I, I saw something in him. That's you know, dope. like it's like kind of the same thing when I first started working with Chris Brown, like mm -hmm. before he even blew up. Like his manager at the time, like I, I saw him perform for the first time, you mm -hmm. know, in front of press, and I saw something, Chris. I was like, I want to be a part of that team. Yeah. So it's like I saw something in him and the potential, mm -hmm. and yeah, you know, I just felt like he needed guidance mm -hmm. and he needed artist development and. You know, we Which the labels don't have the money for that yeah, right. nowadays. They don't have the budgets for that anymore. So it's tough for a lot of the independent artists out here. They don't get that development process like they need. So yeah, and, and he's never had a manager before. Yeah, never, so you know, I, I, like, okay. This, yeah, I, I, had fake, I had the fake email. Like, hi, my name is Blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I was out here you was catfishing. Yeah, <laughs> cool, cool. So we 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 definitely want to thank you guys for coming by because we, you know we definitely Tyron, we're definitely gonna have you back here again, and and man, I mean, it's just. It's always good to see independent artists on the rise. Amen. And to that. you got to, but you got to always, you got to promise us one thing. What's that? That you'll always stay on your grind and hustle, your grustle, and you'll come back once you make it to the top. Nah, I'm just getting like, matter of fact, I quit right now. Oh man, well here, in that case, in that case, go ahead and take my monster balls with you. <laughs> No, no, most de most definitely, man. And everybody, everybody out there listening, man, y'all need to really respect and appreciate people like Big Mike Rob, cause I mean, this this dude is out here, really, like he's really out here on the grind. He's everywhere. He's involved in everything, you know. So you guys, appreciate need to, that. you guys need to get out here, meet people like him, and, and really work. And that's get what you did. You network. That's what it is. So, Amen. with that being said, we gotta go ahead and move yeah. right on to our next segment. It's called Pump, Pump It or, or Dump It, it. and we have Vinny Ramon, that's the, the artist of the week, called Pump It or Dump It. 
all the audience, you guys, all you have to do is you guys just have to go to StayReadyRadio.com and just go ahead and hit the Pump It and Dump It tab, and then you guys vote, Pump It or Dump It. Vinny's on the line. Vinny, you on, still on the line? No, he's not. He's gone. Okay. Well, we're gonna pump. We're gonna pump your song right now, and then we, the audience, gonna let us know even the pump it or dump it. Stay ready, radio, powered by Monster. You already know it's definitely going down. I'm your boy, Big Mike. It's your girl, Desi Dad. DJ the Queen in the building. You stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. ready. Let's go. Let's go. Girl, I never meant to break your heart And I know this isn't easy for you Never thought that we would grow apart Never pictured us not being together And I hate I broke those promises And I raised all of those memories I understand why you had to leave I just wish we never called it quits Cause I toss and turn in the middle of the night Catching myself reaching for you by my side Every day I'm getting weaker My heart slows its speed up Don't know how much longer I can take you without you here Cause it's living without you, baby, just don't feel right Losing you was the worst mistake I ever made Floating in space, father Definitely going down. <laughs> that was a pump and a dump segment. That, that was the artist of the week. I'm sorry, this pit bull always get me with the little burp. And... <laughs> I mean, it just keep you going. Ooh. Ooh, no, nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, no. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> now, so um, we have we have Vinny on the phone. He's out of way. He's all the way from Las Vegas area. Vinny. Vegas. Vinny, you there? Vinny. 
going on, y'all? Hey. What's up? What's up? Hey, that that was a pretty nice, that's a nice track. I like the video. I'm losing control. Okay, okay. You did your little video, huh? You got your <laughs> video, huh? <laughs> I'm sitting up here watching y'all now live. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. So tell us a little bit, a little bit. How, what what did it take to make that video? And or actually, you know, cut that track. The video itself actually was shot by uh, Huda uh, Boss out of Oakland, California, with the company Baby Biz Film. That video really was just something that fine. I was thinking back to the '90s R&B music videos. Nice. Okay, okay. Like the Tony Braxton "Unbreak My Heart." Type of video. <laughs> okay, I like it. Okay. I like it. I like that's it. That's what's up. So, so. Oh, so go ahead. <laughs> Uh, the video is something that I, I definitely wanted to make sure that people were able to get the message behind the song. Okay, and, gotcha. Yeah, because visuals are, are are definitely key nowadays. Definitely. definitely. So 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 Vinny, Vinny, um, you know I've been knowing you for a little bit, and you've been you've been pretty much uh, doing your thing, definitely. and you finally got you finally got your single out. Uh, proud of you. Um, but you're also related to. Uh, somebody out there with, um, that's the group that came out of Vegas, right? 702? 702. Nice. Tell us a little bit about, about how it is being related to another artist that, that you always looked up to and that now that you're, you're, an, you're an independent artist, how, how does that feel? I, honestly, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a, it's, it's a little weird, you know, because to see her, it's like now, older, being older now and watching her uh, compared to when I was you know, I used to watch her, like, you know, when they would do, like, all that and stuff. Uh -huh, like, uh -huh. like, I'm watching her, and I'm kind of, like, taking notes now as opposed to, like, one day I'm going to see her. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to, where she is, I'm going to do what she's doing with her music. You know, now it's, like, kind of like, oh, I see what she did there. Oh, I see what okay. she did. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Now you got an inside perspective, so that's really cool. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. pre we, we appreciate you for calling in, Vinny. Also, we want everybody to know. To either pump it or dump it, go to stayreadyradio.com. You guys let us know. Yes. All right. We appreciate you calling in, Vinny. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. Well, bye. Well, bye. Hello. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and move into our first break of the evening. Hey. We got your boy DJ MAE on the ones and twos. Woo, hot. DJ MAE, you ready? I don't know if you're ready, because we think stay ready. ready. <laughs> I'm turned. This pit bull. Let's go. Slow start moving on a one way train. One ticket left trying to bring the whole team. Move along the track, start picking up speed. Got you all aboard this locomotive of dreams. Slow start moving on a one way train. One ticket left trying to bring the whole team. Move along the track, start picking up speed. Got you all aboard this locomotive of dreams. Train that many features, you should come along for the ride. Feel like a different creature, keep it comfortable. To put while inside. Okay. Also, plenty of meals and food for thought is what we provide. Yeah. If we thirst for knowledge, we serve in various sides. Electric yeah. relaxation, texturizing your mind. Mm -hmm. Make mention to the rate, travel time to recline. Yeah. Take note of all the layer tracks that open design. Yeah. Know about the onlookers because they couldn't decide. See, they was smiling and grinning, thinking they was winning. Yeah. But really, this is the beginning as far as sharing the vision. Yeah. People say they hit me, but really failing to listen. Yeah. All opinion dudes do, but you ain't paying attention. Yeah. Straight from the usual, just expanding the Mission. Something yeah. you ain't used to, far from standing position. Yeah. But we disembark, let me link you with this stuff. You ever seen to find a vessel when decided to walk? Slow start moving on a one way train. One ticket left, trying to bring the whole team. Move along the track, start picking up steam. Got you all aboard this locomotive for dreams. Slow start moving on a one way train. One ticket left, trying to bring the whole team. Uh -huh. Move along the track, start picking up yeah. steam. Got you all Bro, aboard team. this locomotive uh -huh. for dreams. Uh, have a seat as I welcome you all aboard the masterpiece. Uh -huh. Next stop, all your dreams. This is for the path of lead. The only thing you had to do was pack your bags at least and dress warm. Cause ain't no telling we might be coming to a storm. But we gon' keep pedaling long as I got the engine going. Continue flowing on the right track, chilling as I ride past everything they put up against us to set our life back. And everyone is equal. There is not a group of certain people that are high class. Hold up, let me fill your wine glass for life. Food for thought, the states is high. So witnesses, okay. I passed the night for you to cut everybody off who couldn't make the ride. Had a ticket to get on, but ain't even tried to make it on time. So they sit and they cry. By the time they get up, we gone in the blink of an eye. Tell me 
like what you doing later Maybe I can fall through First I gotta know the name 